And this week's show, live row classes start with premieres. And are there going to be 6 a.m. classes coming up? Plus, Peloton is surveying members about Just Workout and pre preparing for the launch of app tiers and much, much more. Welcome to Pelo Buddy TV, a show for the Peloton community by the Peloton community. Here are your hosts, Amanda Siegel and John Pruitt. Welcome to episode 114 of Pelo Buddy TV, a show for the Peloton community by the Peloton community. I'm John Pruitt, joined as always by my co-host, Amanda Siegel. Hey now, Amanda. Hey, John. How are you? Doing good. Finally got some snow. Had a snow day um, the other day. So Jackson was off from school. Uh, tested out my new snow blow, my new electric snow blower, which um, nice. did the trick. Got the job done. So yeah, yes. we're, we're in like a little winter wonderland here in Michigan right now. I don't know about you. So I shouldn't throw no. So I shouldn't throw out that I'm back down in Miami and it's gorgeous. There we go. <laughs> You never stay in one place it, for more than no, four days. No, I, no, the, the life, where, where's Waldo? Where's Amanda? Um, but not, I am, yeah, it's pretty much a two week, two week. So two weeks in Maryland, two weeks in Miami. And we That's kind of nice. alternate between that. So Still it's- Still waiting um, for that Miami invite. Still waiting for that invite. You're invited. You're invited whenever you want. We need to do a Pelo Buddy, um, a Pelo Buddy get together down here. Will Mark, um, for let, sure. me, will Mark let me drive his car? <laughs> I'll have to go to, well, I'll have to, I'll have to work on him on that one. Well, have, you'll have to work on Mark on that one. Yeah. But um, otherwise, all else is good. I am feeling great uh, back on that platform. Um, and it's been amazing. It's been a really awesome week. I have to say that. Um, I yeah. just think there's been tons, tons that has been going on on the platform. So um, it's been good. But I guess well, let's get right into it, John. So, um, Folks, before we get started with the news, we always like to remind you of how you can keep up to date with all of our content across all of our platforms. Every episode is released on our YouTube channel. Just hit that subscribe button in the bottom right-hand side of the video um, and hit the notify button so that you never miss an episode. Yes, and if you just want to listen, you know we are on all traditional podcast platforms. Just search Pelo Buddy TV. Be sure to you know hit subscribe, ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an episode or an update. And please leave us a review. We love to read and share those um, four-star reviews that we receive from you. And we also love your feedback and some of your constructive criticism on how we can improve the show. So keep those coming. We really do um, take those into consideration. Absolutely. And finally, folks, we, of course, are on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Um, just make sure that you follow us on all of those platforms um, for all of the latest news. And I guess now, John, let's get on with the show. Let's do it. First, let's do a rundown of the latest pillow news. Well, Row at Peloton finally went live, and what a week it was. All five Peloton instructors, Row instructors, got to be sh showcased in a live premiere row at 7.30 p.m. each evening. So starting on Monday, we got to see Ash, Adrian, Alex, Matt, um, they all had 15 minute um, premier row classes with Katie Wong getting a whopping 30 minutes on Friday. Mm. So um, there were no classes um, this, this past weekend. Um, but from what it looks like, the regular schedule will start or the, or the new live schedule will start this coming Monday. Yeah. Um, but before we get into that, um, it was really, really amazing to see the camaraderie and support between the five instructors. Ash hit it off on Monday um, and 
the energy was electrifying. The comments back and forth on social media were fantastic. I mean, everybody just loves these row instructors. So it's been really cool to see. And I think I mentioned it last week, um, you know, on the show, it was kind of odd for me because Alex and Katie were both in the studio when I was there, um, you know, a couple of weeks ago. And they kind of just meandered along and nobody really made a fuss, you know, a fuss of them. But I think now that we've got them live and we've got them out there and everybody's going to get to, you know, really get to know them better, um, it'll give members an opportunity to connect with them and, um, you know, to really start to feel the energy. Because when Adrian... Correct. Uh, you know, because when Adrian and Matt were on there, I mean, everybody knows and you could see, you could just see that they were far more relaxed. They definitely, um, you yeah, know. it's not their first rodeo. Were, were, exactly. I feel exactly. like Ash, um, out of the new three, I feel like Ash is definitely the most recognizable. I feel like she's I, probably got the most social media presence, you know, of the three. And that's probably why she really puts herself out there and she seems... Um, to be connected a lot to um, a lot of the members so far. Agreed. Um, Agreed. But I Agreed. did her, I did, so I did Monday and Tuesday live. Um, okay. The Ash one was great. There was 1,015 members, I want to say, on the leaderboard. Wow. 15 minutes was perfect because rowing, it's tiring. Like it tires me yeah. out. And 15 minutes was just the perfect amount of time for, you know, going balls out. And, um, you know, like I was sore, like my back, you know, my lower back feels sore after that. But, uh, but I hung in there. I was, I was impressed with how well I did in terms of ranking. I, th I think I finished around 22, 23. Wow. Um, wow. I need to work. Uh, I was looking at my form feedback. There's two things I need to work on that I was lacking in that form feedback percentage that it gives you when it breaks down four different like your drive, your catch, recovery, and something else. And my recovery, and one other thing, I think my drive was where I got where I took a hit on that um, that feedback score that you get, which is very helpful. Uh, but Adrian's his was great too. He had a pretty significant. I was surprised he had a pretty significant drop in numbers compared to Ashes. He only had about seven hundred, so I was surprised right. to see that dip. Um, when well, he's, maybe you know, everyone was just platform. exhausted. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe everyone was exhausted after Ashes. That, I was going to um, do you know. Alex's on Wednesday night, but in all honesty, I was just kind of sore from the from rowing the past two nights, and I had to. We had snow on Wednesday, so it was a snow day here, no school, and I had to dig out the the driveway and the walkway and do all that. So I didn't want to be up all night doing that after class. So I decided to, to right. skip that one, but uh, they right, were fun. Right. It was, yeah. it, and it, it's really, you know, I, I had said in the past, since I got the row, I wasn't that motivated to use it just due to the lack of live classes. Um, so it definitely had me more engaged uh, with it being well, like, I was definitely excited um, way more excited than just, you know, hopping on and doing an on-demand class. Yeah. Well, John, now you're going to have a lot more yeah. motivation because that leads me into what the schedule kind of looks like. Um, so it will resume tomorrow, Monday. Um, and from what we see, it ranges from about, um, three to four classes each day. Um, we were seeing um, classes early in the morning or later in the evening, East Coast time. So Matt starts the morning off um, tomorrow, Monday at 6 a.m. Yeah. Um, he's then followed by Alex at 7.30 a.m. Um, and then Alex again that same evening at 8 p.m. Tuesday, folks can row with Ash at 6 a.m. or 6.30 and with Adrian at 7.30 p.m. On Wednesday, Katie Wong has a 6 a.m. Um, while whilst Adrian has a 7.30 p.m. followed by an 8.05 p.m. And then on Thursday, Alex has a 6 a.m. whilst Katie has a 7.30 p.m. class. So yeah. some days there are three, some days there are, um, you know, uh, four classes. It kind of just depends um, and whether or not you get two in the morning and one at night or one in the morning and two at night. So they've kind of, um, and that's all that Peloton have released, you know, at this, you know, at this time. Um, yeah. And Unfortunately, it's, nice. it's, it's point to it's a, good to point out though we now have six a.m. classes. I know a lot of folks yes. had complained. 
it's it's bear in mind it's the rower, but um, it's right. nice that we have six, and they're all and they're mostly all twenty minutes, which I think is a really good amount of time. Perfect on the rower, especially for a novice beginner like myself and so many others who are just starting out rowing. Right. But yeah, a whole slew of six a.m. ones, except, except for that one on Monday, um, February six with Alex. He's got a thirty-minute hit row. Um, but also okay. randomly, we have a sixty uh, six a.m. ride coming up. Um, if everyone hasn't noticed on the schedule with Ali Love, six a.m. thirty-minute Tabata ride on Tuesday the seventh. So right around the Indeed. corner. Which hopefully that's a sign of more of those to come at 6 a.m. on the bike. Because I know a lot of folks, yeah. you know, I, I've ridden at 6 a.m. here now and then. But um, I know a lot of folks, that was the regular, you know, thing to do, a live ride at 6 a.m. And then right, also, right, right. we do have a live boot bike boot camp in English that popped, uh, popped up recently with Jess Sims. Also on Tuesday the 7th at noon Eastern, 45-minute pop bike boot camp. So I'm sure folks have noticed that on the schedule. And um, those are hard. If you've ever done a bike boot camp, yeah. if you've ever done a boot camp yeah. with Jess, you know they're hard, but um, that's nice to see. Right, right. Well, I was going to go back to saying that I think part of the reason also with these classes for the row is that, you know, that studio is being shared with strength. So they're obviously picking up and moving that row at the end of, you know, these live classes, but that's yeah. the same studio that they use for strength training. So that, you know, they definitely have to kind of figure out, um, you know, they definitely have to kind of figure out how they're going to, you know, manage because it's used for, if I'm not mistaken, for Bar, no, Bar's probably using the yoga studio. The yoga studio would be Bar and, and um, Pilates. Um, that's yeah, and the other thing I just wanted to jump. That's easy transition though. Because all you got to do is stand up that thing, probably just two people. Um, you, you lift it down from the platform and then they just probably roll it into the corner there in the studio where it's I'm off, sure. where there's a, a, a desk camera. from the camera. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because that's off where camera. usually someone, right. the in-studio staff sits on a little stool where they oversee things as they're happening in the studio with members. Right, right. Um, and sorry, John, one other thing that I also wanted to say that folks um, are frustrated, but the only way that people can view the schedule um, for the Peloton Row is actually yeah. on the hardware, it's, you know, hardware itself. I know that you've said it's really frustrating because you can't, um, can't you know, clips. you can't even can't, pull any of, yeah. you can't pull any of the clips. Has there been anything clip worthy? Not that I've really taken note of. You know, I, I set up my... On Monday and Tuesday night last week, I set up my phone on a tripod to record the pre-show. So I like fixed it. And that's how I used to do it years ago before screen recording became a thing with the uh, iPhone. Got it. With iOS. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was kind of a janky recording. But um, no, but I, haven't you got noticed, something. I haven't really noticed anything super funny yet. But yeah, it'll come. I think they're still warming it up. Um, yeah. yeah. And then one last thing, one last thing I just wanted to say too, is that we are still unsure um, if members might be able to take live rowing classes in person at Peloton Studios in the future. So, so I did. We I, will definitely I was, keep you guys. Yeah, you I heard something? I was messaging uh, recently with Alex Karwoski and he said he doesn't believe there's going to be members in the studio, at least for the foreseeable future. Because I asked him directly, All I right. said, any word on members in the studio? He goes, not that I'm aware of. So for now, it seems yeah. like the plan is... It makes sense, is... though. Yeah. Especially if said, they're it sharing it. Sense. If they're sharing it, rolling yeah. out a bunch of rowers. And yeah, the configuration might be a challenge. But hopefully at some point, we, right. might, we might get members in for rowing. That would be nice. It would be nice because that could be a lot of fun. But uh, yeah, I just don't see how, where they're going to do it or how they're going to, you know, do that with folks. So we'll have to wait and see. Yeah. All right. Well, another Broadway series installment was announced this past week. And this one was the highly acclaimed musical Six. So Peloton had shared the news on Instagram saying, let's make her story, history. Um, and on Wednesday, January the 25th, the curtain rises on a Broadway series devoted to six Broadway. And you've got front row seats. Um, so there were five 
absolutely amazing classes. Four of them actually dropped on demand. Um, there was a cool down with Sam Yo, five minute cool down. There was a 30 minute ride with Robin Arzan, a 10 minute light arms, arms and light weights with Hannah um, Corbin, and a 30 minute run in German with Jeffrey McEachin. There was one show-stopping live class, which was on Wednesday evening at 7 p.m. Um, it was a walk with Maddie Majacomo, uh, and it was – Maddie was just in his element. I mean, we all know I'm that Maddie Broadway is fan, just yeah. an absolute Broadway, She's you know, all the Broadway shows. Um, groupie. Um, and he shared that he's actually seen six – five times he said he's going to make it to six times but he's actually seen it five times it's a very quick show it's only 90 minutes and there's no intermission so it's one of those shows that one can go in now I haven't what, seen what is it, it about? as much as I love Broadway. It's about, well, I'll tell you in a minute. So for those that are unfamiliar with the musical, it's actually about the six wives of Henry VIII, but with a uh, modern twist. Oh, okay. So it takes all, and I won't even attempt to name the six wives, um, but it takes all, it takes all of them. I know Anne Berlin is one of them. Berlin, um, yeah. I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to try and name the others. I mean, I should, because they're all in the, in the, you know, in all the songs and everything. Um, it was done brilliantly, though, and Maddie was just in his element. Um, uh, it was absolutely fantastic. So I did the walk and the run and Jeffrey's run, and both um, truly did it justice. It's a really great uh, Broadway series, and that's of course added. You can find all the Broadway series, you know, through the website um, at pelobuddy.com, as well as of course on the Peloton um, hardware or app. Great. We have a beginner uh, Pilates, a one-week program with Kristen. Uh, Peloton recently announced this new uh, strength training program this past week, and it has seven Pilates classes taught by Kristen McGee. Um, is a week's worth of beginners Pilates classes designed to help members um, start out in Pilates. Um, it was teased last week in an email to some members and now has been officially released. Um, I don't know if it was part of it. Uh, it probably wasn't part of it, but I was, I, I had eyed an eighties and nineties Pilates class with Kristen. Um, I think it was on Thursday. I don't know if you took it. I'm, I'm nah. completely going off on a, uh, a, a tangent, tangent, but that's yeah. fine. Keep going. <laughs> uh, but yeah, those are out there now, um, as they are officially released on the platform. On Monday, this past Monday, yeah. yeah. And then for our German members, there is a new You Can Ride program that was also launched this past week. It's a three-week three week program with nine classes in total. So they encourage folks to do kind of three classes. So this is anybody new um, that has you know, just purchased the bike and is interested in you know, really getting down to basics. But of course, it is in the German language. Nice. And a just workout, a survey about the just workout feature um, was sent to some members asking for their feedback, how they would like it improved. Um, with that, the survey um, was completed. It's being conducted by the Peloton research team. And if you received it, you have the opportunity to receive a hundred dollar gift card to Tango, which is a global online gift card company. Um, it centers around the Just Workout feature on the, the Peloton app and how often members use it, how accurate it is, what aspects they like, what they don't. Um, some of the new components of it include more accurate distance tracking, uh, the Spotify integration, tracking friends' workouts for safety, some additional analytics, and more. Um, there's no guarantee um, any of the features will be implemented, but they want to gauge kind of an interest on what's most important to members about those different things. Um, they'll select two members who complete the survey to win that $100 gift card. Um, the deadline is January 23rd, uh, which has already passed. Uh, so if you did complete the survey, you might have um, received a $100 gift card right now. But 
the give some uh, background, the Just Workout feature, they began beta testing it back in the spring before it officially launched uh, in June of last year. So the initial iteration allowed members to receive time, distance, credit for any walk, run, or ride. I use it a lot for walks when I take the dogs for a yeah. walk, especially on days when recovery days, when I don't, you know, get, yeah. get on the hardware. Uh, but since then, Peloton has added a lot of different components to the feature. Um, they added new types of workouts, uh, strength, yoga, cardio, stretching, and more. Um, and then later they added the just with goals, allowing members to add a specific goal, such as a specific distance, time, or output to their workout. Um, they also uh, recently added a just walk option uh, to the feature on tread devices on the plus and the Peloton tread. Yeah. Awesome. All right. We're also seeing more evidence that Peloton is looking to update the app. So we spoke about that. Um, you know, we spoke about that before, as far as the pricing goes for those folks that are looking at, you know, being a member, purely an app based member. Um, so the latest iOS app appears to have indicated this and with thanks to our friends in the run lift and live group, it was spotted that after updating the iOS app, a new widget actually appeared in the description of the class, um, from last month that stated free for a limited time. So the widget is displayed regardless of whether the member has an all access membership or an app only membership. Um, however, there is still no information pointing to any changes to the Peloton all access membership. Yes, yet. Um, so which is, that's obviously the membership which is held by members who own the bike, the tread or the row. So the tier, so it's still being you know, believed that the tiers um, will only apply to members who only have digital only access, um, mm. you know, to, to the platform. So, um, yeah, I mean, I guess, you know, it, it, you know, that, that you don't want to pay for something you're not, you're not going to use. So it really depends on what your level of engagement is of commitment yeah. is or exactly. And exactly, you can always upgrade exactly. downgrade. So I guess it's, it's smart. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Run, so run, I guess we'll live. see. I mean, run, lift, and live. John Mills yeah. group, not live. That's him. <laughs> oh, did I? Oh, I run, said live. You're right. Yeah. Live. <laughs> Our friend. <laughs> You're quite right. You're quite right. There, uh, oh my his show cracks. He, um, his show cracks me up when he posts little snippets on his. Uh, he's have so you funny because he adds he's all. So he adds funny. like funny yes. graphics. Like he's good with the the, the production. Um, when he has his He's friend Danielle good. and Jess Minardi on there sometimes, and he adds little graphics when they're, when they're chatting about the rower and, and whatnot. It cracks me up. Yeah. He's adorable. Uh, well, he's adorable. well, sticking on the topic of the app, um, Peloton appears to be adding a notification feature for the activity feed page on the Peloton app. So to refresh, uh, your memory, uh, the Peloton activity feed shows you the workouts your friends have recently completed. You can view which class they took, which time, as well as um, some of their key metrics, the output distance, et cetera. You can leave a little high five, almost like, like a Facebook like, um, that sort of action for them to view on their own feed page. Um, but in recent days, iOS users have reported seeing a little notification widget at the top of the activity feed page, but when they click on it, a little message appears that states not yet implemented. Um, so it's not really clear um, what it's going to be, but it's likely that it'll be the number of notifications to correspond how many high fives were sent via that feed page since you last looked at your feed. Um, so just a nice little update that's probably gonna be coming um, soon that we'll be seeing shortly. You know, they've definitely, They've definitely been so busy on the back end, but I got to tell you that one of the things that I really hope that they do look at doing is it's so hard if you're on the app to fi to follow your friends. Oh, to filter. There's you no know, filter. Yeah. Surely there's there's no filter. So, yeah. you know, surely that's something that could be easily added to when you're using the app because a lot of folks have the bike and don't have the tread or have the tread and don't have the, you know, and want to do a workout I, with their friends. Yeah, tags. Um, I... I if it were be my guess, it probably has to do with like slowing down the feed, but at least um, it'd be nice if you could at least just find your follower, you know, who you follow. People at you follow, 100%. Tab. 
Because otherwise, 100%. it's just, yeah, you could just scroll on. Because unless you, and the other thing is, the other thing that I think they should be able to add, because the instructors can see it on their the screen, app is if you're on the tread, you can't see the app people. Yeah, only so if they So if you're on the app, you. you get to see everybody. Yeah. Right, exactly. right. So those are just little tweaks that I, I'm not sure what's taking so long to just get done. They seem like those should be pretty simple um, to add, you know, to both screens, especially since the instructors are able to see who just the app users are. So clearly it's just a question of adding that to the members. Um, and it's something I'm I, sure I, that has sure. been uh, highly requested. So it's, yeah, uh, they, I'm you'll sure hear they are people well aware talking about of, it. Yeah. That folks have been wanting. It's not just like a couple people. Um, yeah. Right. That's been a, a pain point for a while and, on, on the classes. And it's also, it's also been on the classes on the devices. You know, strength classes, yoga, Pilates, on right. the tread row. The same you thing. You can't filter. There's no filter. It's just one big leaderboard like it is on the app. Um, I don't yes. know why that's the case. Maybe it's because people aren't really, you know, connected right to their screen. So maybe you shouldn't be so active uh, high-fiving during those types of classes. I don't, right. I don't know what the rationale is, but yeah, it's just something you would think. The logic behind it. It's something sure. you would think they would add by now or, you know, be in the works. Right. And I also think it's a great way for of engagement. I mean, they're trying to get people to buy the tread. You know, you find more people have the bike and are using the app because you can. Um, you know, you can use the app to go and walk outside and to utilize it from that perspective if you don't have the hardware. So why would you not want to encourage that? Right. You know, why would you not want to encourage folks to be able to do that? Anyway, just um, just our two cents we that we wanted to throw out there. We do. We do. Well, it does seem that Peloton has added something that the guide folks have been requesting and that is new statistics for guide workouts um, on the app so um, and and of course the web browsers so one can now see detailed statistics for workouts taken members can see the percentage of the movement tracker targets that you hit um, as well now as the total reps and weight count for that particular class so these new statistics can be viewed in one's profile workout history. Um, the target's hit percentage indicates how cl closely you actually um, kept up with the movement tracker for the class. So depending on how high the percentage is, members can also see a medal level, such as gold, silver, and bronze. For those unfamiliar, the movement tracker features, gives members credits for the following um, class plans. So um, it does, uh, it doesn't count reps or check form. It only examines whether, um, it only examines whether or not you're doing the movement the instructor called out. So members will also see the total reps completed throughout the entire class. This new section of statistics also displays the volume of weight lifted by the end of the class. So there was a lot of new features that definitely make it more appealing to dust off that guide. And yes, John, I am planning on using it. <laughs> okay, so just to clarify, you are still uh, I, planning on using it because I was just I about to ask you. I am still Because I was going to throw out, I was gonna throw out an offer, and this applies to anyone listening. I have a $300 accessory credit I don't really have any use for. If Amanda, if you want it, you want to trade your guide for that, or if anyone is not using their guide, I will happily trade you that $300 accessory code no. that I received for my you rower, that... uh, you know, credit. Um, I'm, still looking, yeah, I'm still looking for a good need. deal on a guide. So keep me in mind, Amanda. Yeah. How, how, how much are they? I don't even know how much they are like these 250, days. 250, two, two something, I think. Is that what they are? Something All like right. that. Two, so that's a pretty good deal. I, that's I a pretty good deal. So you're still planning, right? Yeah. I, I just... I, you yeah, haven't hooked I, up? I is it in the box still? Is it hooked up? No, 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 no. It's hooked up. Okay. It's hooked. You know what my issue is? I've, I've mentioned this before. My biggest issue is I have nowhere to place it. There's nowhere in my gym that I'm able to place it that it can pick me, you know, can pick my movements up and then display them on my TV screen because my TV is up on the wall. So that's the issue that I've been dealing but, with is not figuring out where to place it. But you could attach it on the wall below it and then sort of just swivel it to angle it to where it would catch you, right? <laughs> Again, the way the way my gym set up is not a very big room. My TV is kind of catty cornered in the corner, 
So I have to play around with it. I, I do have to play around with it because I really, and especially now that they've added all these extra features, it is far more appealing. <laughs> I'm getting from control room excuses, excuses, excuses. But, yeah, just um, move the TV. Get a new TV. Where, where the tonal? <laughs> just you just still, build out a new gym. You still have the tonal? Just build out a new. I do. I do. Because <laughs> I see they up the subscription. Uh, I, I see they up the subscription. Don't even don't even go there. Don't even go there. Don't even go there. I mean, there. this isn't a tonal hey, podcast, a but yeah, it's it trouble. It sounds like trouble in the waters for tonal. Anyway. Never mind, never mind that, John. I have a row that I haven't even been able to use. So I haven't even been able to update this, the software you're about to talk about. Damn. <laughs> well, perfect segue. Uh, the rower, the Peloton row, has had uh, some software updates. Over the last week, Peloton rolled out some new firmware software updates. I know Chris Lewis is probably very excited about this, the, the techie nerd that he is, um, to uh, that adds new features and fixes a pace issue, if anyone had happened to noticed that some members were experiencing and reported that um, the update seems to be rolling out slowly. So not everyone uh, may have received it yet. I, I had just an update on the row uh, the other day, so I might have that, but uh, Peloton first fixed a problem with pace tracking. So um, since the row first started making its way into our homes late last year, some members had reported a very specific issue after approximately 45 minutes of rowing, which I don't know who's doing more than 45 who's minutes of that? rowing. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like maybe one person, um, their pace <laughs> would suddenly drop by a minute or more. They'd be maintaining the exact same stroke yeah, speed were... and output. So it's just kind of a weird. Be because they were exhausted. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. They keeled over. <laughs> um, yeah. So, so like a weird anomaly. So this occurred just in long rowing classes or back-to-back -back row stacks, apparently. Um, however, in recent days, yeah. they uh, members had reported seeing a new firmware update pop up on the devices, and then it seems to have been resolved after that. Um, and along with that update, a new software update has been made to uh, a small tweak to the form feedback functionality. So with that update, the form feedback is, um, it no longer displays red highlights when you're doing drills. So the drill section on the rower um, it's basically like your metrics gray out when, um, okay. during certain, and it's, it's kind of nice cause it like gives you a nice little break. So you don't have to like, if you need to stop for a second to take water or high five, um, your output doesn't, you don't slow, you don't slowly creep down the leaderboard. Um, it happened in Ash's class, her metrics, you know, it was like almost a break or a drill session grayed out. I was able to take a swig of water, return a couple high fives and that you know, it maintains your spot on the leaderboard. It's like when you transition from the bike to floor or tread to mat. Boot camp. Yeah, your, your metrics yeah. stop. Yeah. Um, so another small update there with the, uh, the form functionality there. You don't see the red highlights um, during those sections. And then Peloton also added some additional row stats. When you view your completed classes via the app or web browser, you can now see your total form feedback score along with a more detailed breakdown. Um, it breaks them down, catch, drive. Oh, so this is it. This, those are the four I mentioned. Catch, drive, finish, and recovery. Um, those four, and it makes up All a right. total percentage and you see a nice little wheel. Um, it was previously available, but just on the, the row itself, only on the device. All right, and for all those lane break lovers, uh, Peloton has added some new features. Uh, first off, they've made some small graphic enhancements. Um, so for example, when you're doing a streams challenge, there is now extra graphics that appear to the side of the lanes. Um, we've also seen that the timer and time bar at the top of the screen is no longer persistent and always displayed. Um, additionally, the talkback feature, which which Peloton has been beta testing may pop up on the screen if you have the talk back enabled. So they're definitely pushing lane break. I know that folks are loving the playlists that DJ John Michael have, have put together. What's the talk back feature? Um, and what, what does that do? So, you know, for, so that, that enhances. So if you're, um, uh, 
uh, hearing impaired or visually ah. impaired, excuse me, thank you, visually impaired, you're able to talk back and then it'll kind of do, you know, do what it asks you to do. So it's aiding those uh, those folks. So gotcha. yeah, now it's been added to, to lane break. I, I guess it hadn't been previously. So um, yeah, so it's just some extra tweaks with that. And speaking of uh, some more tweaks, uh, we've had some tread wake up treat, uh, treats, tweaks. So Peloton sent a software update for members in the United Kingdom and Germany um, that have Peloton treads, um, which adds additional ways to wake up the tread. As of January 11th, members can spin one of the knobs. They can use the stop button on the crossbar, or they can press the power button um, you know, on the back of the screen to wake up the tread. Um, they posted... Uh, the, the jump up, the jump button. Um, yeah, the little round button on on the knobs. Uh, Peloton posted this update in the official Peloton UK member group on Facebook, um, which if you didn't catch it, we have it obviously linked on our write up on pelobuddy.com. All right. And this next one, you know, I was going to be all over it, but um, we hope that the Australian community are ready because tread instructor John Husking is going down under. Um, so John first announced that he will be heading to Australia in two weeks in his pre-show of his 90 minute run. 90. 90. Of his 90s. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I think we'd all be dead of his 90s, of his 90s run um, on Monday morning. So he was very exciting, bouncing all around the platform. Um, and there was actually somebody who had popped up who was an Australian um, member who had popped up on his screen. And um, it's Amy Loves Pasta. I'll give her a shout out. She's so lovely. And um, he, he had mentioned it then. So there was also an announcement on the Peloton Australian um, Facebook page. Um, and it said, this February, we are thrilled to welcome Global Peloton instructor John Husking, also known as Husky, to Australia to introduce us to the endlessly entertaining and epically motivating world of the Peloton tread. He'll be showing us the power of classes taught by world-class instructors with playlists that gets pulse rate racing and all the way the tread makes every step count stay on the lookout for more details updates because this is going to be big hashtag club hustle. so is this going to be a so, showroom um, appearance you think Yes, yes. So I think what he's doing is, so we mentioned last week on the show that, you know, folks will be able to start purchasing it in February if you call, uh, you know, customer service or um, you go into the showrooms, they are pre-selling you know, pre them. Um, so there are folks that are able to actually get the treads a little bit early, but the tread will be available down in ours. And what John's going to do is actually spending two weeks and I guess he's going into all, he'll be going into all the showrooms just to promote it do meets and greets kind of like what Kira Michelle did um, with yoga um, so and in fact I, I had reached out to Amy to say you have to go and meet him when he gets down there he's just such a joy and, and she said that she had gone in and met um, you know and had met um, Kira when she was there so um, she had come in for yoga so you know I guess just a way I think they do feel kind of like you know the the, the, the last family yeah. um, down under because they don't get access to the instructors the the so, instructors yeah. yeah well they don't yeah they yeah don't well to anybody face, face. well as you an know, added bonus too yeah. if 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 you're in australia and you don't manage to get to the showroom um john will actually be on select orders he will be delivering them and setting them up in people's homes <laughs> and giving uh, an online trial you know uh, an at-home trial consultation careful <laughs> <laughs> people might be like let me tell you i mean i'd move down to to, uh, to to sydney just to get that happening that would be a uh, great idea so though if excited. he just randomly went oh gosh. on a Could couple of home delivery i mean that would be great for their social media and you know just I'm going to tell, you know there. what, I'm going to, so, I'm going to, I, we should tell him, we should, should tell bring, him that we should think bring that it up that's to his team idea there and see if that's it. a pot. That would be great. You know, it'd be fun, you know, PR and people would love it. They'd eat it up. Oh so. my 
Jeez, if that, that happens, I take red, full credit. Ready, ready, cool. I take full credit if that does happen. <laughs> um, so a good, good story right. now to go into for Australia, folks in Australia and Germany. Peloton's partnering with banks there in both countries to offer discounts on their products. Um, Peloton first announced a new partnership with Hamburger Sparkazi, Sparkazi, Sparkasa, Hamburger Sparkasa in Germany to offer account holders a 250 discount. I think that's that weird symbol is euros. There we go. Euros on Peloton products and accessory packs. It's available. It's it's available right now. It's been going on from the 19th of January, and it's good through February 28th um, of this year. The offer is available only to active Hamburger Sparka, Sparkaz Sparkase account holder <laughs> Sparkasa account holders Sparkasa. Right. Is that right? Is that right, Chris? Thank you. Sounds like you got it this Those time. Those interested like you got it. are to log into their. I'm just going to call it HS. Their HS account. <laughs> Click on the Peloton offer, which will provide a one-time discount code to be applied at checkout. Um, it'll grant you 250 euros off a Peloton purchase of a Peloton bike, Bike Plus, Tread, or a Peloton fitness equipment set. Um, and Peloton has also announced a new partnership with American Express in Australia to offer Amex card holders 15% cash back, which equates to up to $450 when spending... Wow. $2,000 or more in a single Peloton purchase. Um, like the... Put that trade. Put that trade on your American Express. There you go. Like the hamburger <laughs> offer. Yeah. <laughs> the Amex offer is available beginning also January 19th. Uh, however, it will only be available through February 16th. So it ends a little earlier than the, the hamburger offer. J so for Sounds any good. Amity wow, Amex holders awesome. in Australia want to pull the trigger on that tread or the bike. Get, it's a great way to yeah, do it. A nice little, great way to nice do little it. cash back offer. Exciting. All right, good. Well, last week we spoke about um, Kelly Gullickson's um, member get together. That was this past Monday night. And, um, on Monday, we got to see the latest installment of Peloton Apparel's instructor line, which, as we had surmised, was Callie's new BYOE collection. So for those of you unfamiliar with the acronym, bring your own energy, um, is what Callie uses in all of her bike boot camps, her strength classes, um, etc., her um, cardio stuff. So the new line was launched and modeled by none other than Kelly um, herself, together with Maddie, Olivia, and Kendall. Uh, members got to be a part of a Q&A with Kelly, as well as a photo opportunity. Snacks were, were served appropriately so from Trader Joe's, because <laughs> as we know, Kelly is obsessed. So they put together these cute little um, charcuterie um, packets for members to pick up, um, which had you know, some meats and cheeses and crackers and etc in there which was really cool um and the probably the most relevant um aspect of being there was that members got early access to the collection and i guess that definitely made them a little bit luckier than others because when the collection was released on tuesday it was sold out within minutes. Was even the, so, the T-shirt? Um, I know there was a men's T-shirt. There was one men's, or maybe it was a unisex piece. It was a T-shirt. Did that sell out too? Well, I know that the. I, you know what? I do know for sure that the women's um, bra top, the the pants, um, I think the hoodie or the there was a sweatshirt. I think were sold out. Okay. Could not yeah, get. Yeah, it was mainly them. a women's drop. So I don't know about the. I yeah, it was just a I don't know whether the men's T-shirt was. But um, but it's cool. Um, it looks really good. It was lovely to see Kelly's mom and dad um, right up front. They were there yeah. um, at the member get together, um, and it was 
freezing in New York on Monday night and the lane for members to get in um, literally went way past Whole Foods on 10th Avenue, (laughs) kind of all the way to the end. Um, But it seemed to have been a really, really great um, event. And our friend Jason D, who is Callie's admin for um, her group, was there and excited. Callie's Killers. Okay, I didn't actually... Callie's Killers, yeah, something like that. Um, so, So, yeah, so she has a huge following. She really has an amazing following for, you know, being one of the newer instructors on the platform. She has definitely um, captured the hearts of many Peloton She's good, yeah. So I think she's, this new line. She's good on social media. You know, she's very engaged, comments. Um, she posts very. funny TikToks and, you know, she includes her husband, Chris, in there and they do some funny stuff. So I, I like it. Um, I know my friend, yeah, awesome. hello, Jennifer, Jennifer Lippman, who's, uh, you know, a local <laughs> there. Who the, the or yeah you guys are like best but you guys are like butt buddies now all of a we're sudden we're best buddies now she, um, oh, yeah she was invited to that event but she opted to go to the Rangers hockey game that night so I'm sure she's bummed she missed out on the early access to the apparel but uh, yeah she, we, she did we mention did she told me she did it. see we... some celebs at uh, the hockey game that were right you know it near her section including uh, Keenan Thompson from SNL so I don't think she was too. I don't think she oh, was wow. too bummed about she it. She didn't tell me yeah. that. Keenan Thompson. All right. Well, she didn't tell me that. You got you got Kenan that. Keenan Thompson and the actress from This Is Us. Um the Afri- the oh, African the African American actress. Um the oh, mom. Wow, the tra- I, can't I can't think of her name. name. And yeah. somebody else who I didn't even know Aaron Judge or so I don't even know who that is, but she was all excited about mm-hmm. it. Yeah. And that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. All right, good. All right, so Got some birthdays this some past birthdays. week. Uh, kicking it off, Ben. Uh, his birthday was on the 22nd. Ben Aldis. Is he like 30 yet? <laughs> this was the big 30. 30. This was his big 30. 3-0. I cannot believe that that guy is only 30. He is, oh my I mean, goodness, he, was, he is so mature and is just phenomenal. He's only like 27 he quite, or so and, and when he started. When he started, when he's 26, 26, because he's been with, yeah. you know, he's been with the platform for just over over four years. Um, and his Ben's army gave him, oh, wow, they really gave him such a, he had a live class the night before, I guess, his birthday. Uh, so um, they really birthday, spoiled him. Off. It was lovely to see. And they did. They Logan did. Aldridge had his birthday on the 25th. And then Kendall, her birthday was on the 28th. So happy birthday. To what yes, is it? Are, are we nice Aquarius birthday. right now? Capricorn. Capricorn. Okay. Aren't they Capricorns? Capricorns, I think. Or well, they may be going into the into the next one. I don't know what comes after Capricorn. Yeah. <laughs> I can't I don't tell know you. The I'm not very good with yeah. that. Not very good with that. All right. Well, that leads us right into instructor in the news. And I will kick it off with um once again, the Peloton instructors were featured in Shape magazine this past. So this article was titled Peloton has helped make fitness and more um, wel- a more welcoming place with every health size. So everybody at any health size um, is now, you know, really being embraced and Peloton are very much a part of that. So, um, you know, they're, they're stating that they're, they're Pel- that Peloton is defying the stereotypes of what a fitness brand should focus on. So the article quoted um, Christine de who tells riders you are bigger than a smaller pair of pants, to Chelsea Jackson Roberts, who cues options for yogis with bigger chests and stomachs. So, you know, love that. And then, of course, Camilla Roman. Camilla Roman is just absolutely phenomenal. And she shared her own body image um, journey. And she said, I think we celebrate our members for who they are. We don't try to push a narrative of what training should look like for certain people. We focus on strength, mental resilience, and athleticism, which looks different on everybody. So, um, you know, love how... um, Peloton has done that and have really embraced everybody, um, which is what it should be. You know, as long as you're being healthy and you're working out and you're getting your heart rate going and you're moving, um, you know, the rest is to each to each his yeah, own. That's a good so, message. So a really great article. Yeah. Very excellent article. And Camilla was recently on the Alley on the Run podcast. Um, she talked about her running journey uh, from her start in elementary school and her 
own struggles uh, about self image and how she felt. And she, she didn't, um, she said she didn't initially do running cause you know, she loved it or the exercise she did it, um, about how she felt her, about her body and to lose weight at a young age, uh, growing up in Argentina and later in Miami. And then she also talked about, um, how as an adult and a professional dancer, she reconnected to running, rediscovered it. And this, um, this time it really stuck with her. Um, she said she found a community of like-minded runners. She started trail run trail running in Los Angeles and she completed her first marathon. Um, and she earned her Boston marathon qualifying time, which she, um, uh, which she then ran the 2019, um, Boston marathon as her second marathon. Um, uh, so another good, um, podcast, they get a lot of, uh, interviews on the alley on the run podcast there. She's a badass. She is a badass. And I, I have to tell you, I just have to start working out with her more. You know, I tend, to narrow, I tend to go into my, that's what everybody says. That's what everybody says. I love seeing her on social media and I, you know, there just aren't enough hours in the day to get whatever I want to get in, in, you know, for what you're doing. So um, anyway, moving on, Dennis Morton was interviewed um, on Spotify and he spoke about his um, background um, to how his life has changed since joining Peloton. So if you want to go and take a listen to that podcast, you can certainly um, find it um, on pedabody.com um, or on Spotify podcast. I would, I would, um, I'm going to give that one a listen. Cause that's Dennis doesn't do interviews that much. He's not like, I don't think he's done a lot of podcast interviews, not that many print or online interviews. So that, um, I haven't had a chance a to listen to it. I didn't have a chance to listen to it before the show. So yeah, I think that is a good one to go listen to. And then a uh, TV appearance, Rad Lopez was on TV on New York, uh, New York city's local channel 11. Um, he was sharing some workout tips, how to stay motivated in your fitness routine. He walked uh, the two co-hosts that he was with uh, through some stretchings and movements. They did some shadow boxing. It was, you know, it was a quick sort of, um, you know, one of those quick TV appearances, but it was fun seeing there, seeing, getting some, uh, some airtime. All right, good. And Robin Arzan chatted with vegnews.com um, about her um, about her vegan lifestyle. Um, so that was a good article, you know, on how she chose to become vegan and, um, you know, and how she embraces that. And Ali Love was on the Today Show last week. If you didn't catch it, um, it's about an eight minute appearance. She was there with Jenna Bush Hager and Copy. Uh, talking about wellness um, and, you know, how important movement is. And she demonstrated um, a lot of different bar exercises, bar movements um, that she teaches on the Peloton platform uh, with chairs that they had there in the studio. I always thought it was, I thought it was funny because they had three or four just random people. They're probably like, you know, interns or staff members and they just, they have to be standing in the background yeah. and their exercise closes and they all had little like lightweights and they're just <laughs> they're like robots. They're just, they're probably like, just stand there and do curls the entire time. <laughs> so they're, so they're just background so uh, wallpaper. Um, but uh, Jenna set out the part of the segment where Allie was doing these, um, uh, leg exercises on the chair because she she just had a really short dress on with these like long leather oh, boots yeah so she didn't want to you know have a a slip uh, there a reveal it's so she TV. she set that one yeah, out yeah, yeah. Um, and then Allie moved on she demonstrated some upper body bar movements with some light weights um, you know Y and uh, W formations with her arms and then she she finished up with some dance cardio uh, movements doing some heel taps. And then it was nice. Hoda is obviously clearly a big Ali Love fan because she gave a nice little plug just randomly for Ali's um, Sundays with Love series, her her series on the bikes. And nice. she said that she's taken every single one um, that she's done since its, its inception. Wow, that's amazing. It's amazing. Awesome. Yeah. And Ellie's just so unbelievable on the screen. So clearly, you know, with her background, with, you know, with her basketball. And yeah, such, she's very, very she's comfortable. Very relaxed, yeah, she's natural. Very, very. She was very natural. It was beautiful. It was lovely to watch. Lovely. To watch. And then lastly, um, our English instructors got some, um, got some airtime. Um, they were featured in an English magazine, um, 
called you. It actually was you.co.uk, um, so online. Um, and we got to hear about Justin Thompson Rule. Bradley Rose and Hannah Frankson. So if you um, are interested, Chris does have the link to the U, um, dot, dot co dot UK site and you can read all about um, the three of them. So that was awesome. Nice. And that wraps up the instructor in the news. So yeah. Right into the picks all of right, the week. All right, John, we are going to get right into picks of the week and I will start it off with my boy. John Husking. Um, John had a 30-minute 2010s run on the 20th. It was at 1 p.m. Eastern. And he um, was recommended – this one was recommended by Roz Reich, 712, and Jan Wolf. And I'm going to give Roz a huge shout-out. She was live in studio. So she got to do that with John. She was on a work trip in London and got to be in studio. And she said it was the most incredible experience. She said she was very nervous. Um, <laughs> and I will give a huge shout out to Felipe, who um, is a is is part of the studio Peloton um, crew. Okay. Yep, PSL. And um, he just held her hand and made her feel so comfortable being there. And I've said this a thousand times. The staff there are phenomenal. So um, it was really nice to see. So Reich, um 712 and Jan Wolf both recommended it. They said flat, fun playlist and good energy from the studio. I feel like the, um, next feel like the up, London studio yeah. is probably a little more laid back. Is that an accurate assumption just because it's, it's not different. as big and and there's not as many members probably there at a single time so it's probably not as correct so kind of looking forward to that Cor correct and and the staff rarely get involved with the members so they definitely you know they definitely go that extra Pretty little bit on. i think new york's just become yeah yeah become so big and crazy um very hands-on all right and then next was um ben aldis's third minute dance music ride from the 20th it was also a member live our good friend Cinco, as well as well as fit mama tech both recommended this pick um, they said the playlist was ace and ben's energy was off the charts and i do want to thank Cinco for clearing something up um, and in fact i need to still tell chris to make sure that he changes it where it needs to be changed but there are 24 bikes in the London studio. And I think we had reported previously that there were 22. So there were actually oh. 24 bikes for members to, um, and, and um, uh, uh, Cinco had mentioned it to me. Um, and I wanted to make sure that I, I put that out there as well. But that 30 minute dance music ride was a banger and a belter. And then Sam Yo, th his 30 minute Lunar New Year's ride, um, also member live in studio. Um, we had two records. Two folks um, picked this one, Karen, Rebecca, Kay, and Jess Dibble. They said, just a great ride all around. Nice. First up, a class I will never take. It is Susie Chan's 60-minute <laughs> marathon prep run from the 22nd. Brave folks that take, would take this. Submitted by Teddy Hayes, Teddy Hayes. They said it was fun, informative, and the right kind of challenging. Next, Nico Serrani's 30-minute Bossa Nova Yoga Flow, which was in English from the 22nd as well. We got that one from Amajar3. This class was so calming, she said. And then Rebecca Kennedy's 45-minute 80s walk from the 22nd as well, uh, submitted by the Rock Solid crew, her, her group. And My Soul Proclaims. They said all 80s movie soundtracks for this playlist. That sounds super fun. Yeah. All right. And then Matt Wolpers had a 45-minute intervals run that was picked by I Miss Fabio Dennis. <laughs> what a Don't cool we all? leaderboard Don't we all name. <laughs> no, I do not miss Fabio Dennis. I'm afraid I my leaderboard name would be I don't I miss, miss the Fabio man bun. Dennis. Dennis not when he let it perfect. not when he let it down into the super long down. ponytail. Yeah, that looked kind of funny, but the man yeah. bun I miss because I'm not a fan nah. of the weird he's he's just very into his hair now. He always makes that point. Yeah, that point yeah. thing that he does. Yeah, I like that. Get get the man bun back. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, too funny. Well, I miss Fabio Dennis as well as uh, Mandy Rose. They said it rated an eight out of 10 for a reason. I've done probably a hundred of Matt's runs at this point, and I've never wow. seen him walk on a run until this one. Um, granted it was maybe 30 seconds but I was stunned it was very difficult but I loved it Um, they also said I'm going uh, I'm doing the team Wilpers run challenge and right now I'm doing their first half marathon challenge and use this one as my runs this week Matt walking on the tread is the equivalent of him not pedaling on the bike which he never does. He always pedals. Yeah. This is the same way. I'll give them both credit. They never stop pedaling. Ever. Yeah. They're just, that's, that's never how stopped. they are. Ben Alder says the same. Uh, ben, um, I think Bradley Rose too. Don't think they ever, they ever stop pedaling. Definitely Ben. I can't, can't be sure on Bradley, but definitely Ben. All right. The next one was mine, um, as well as Amajar 3. And, um, you know, we speak about meditations all the time, and, and certainly with sleep meditations, we tend to fall asleep, but I've done this one a couple times, and the very last time I did it, it was earlier in the evening, and I pretty much got through the full 30 minutes, and it is Ross Rayburn's um, latest sleep meditation from the 23rd. Mm. Um, it's 30 minutes, so it, it gives you a good chunk. The five minute sleep meditations don't work for me. I have to do like two or three and then you're like touching your yeah, phone and you're kind of getting out of that zenness. Yeah. Yeah. So um, there aren't many 30 minutes on the platform. Um, and this one was absolutely amazing. I love the way, you know, he did the body scan. Ross tends to bring out a story. He spoke about how you pick, you know, something that's happened from the day um, and whether you're either going to kind of throw it into the fire, you're sitting at a campfire, whether you're either throwing it into the fire and kind of getting rid of it or whether you're actually folding it up and putting it in a box to keep. And I just thought, you know, there were things that I had thought of of that day that I would have loved to have been able to have done. And it was just a really nice way. And I got to hear it. So I, I'm glad that somebody else recommended it, but that was definitely my, uh, my, one of my picks. I always like Ross's um, sign off and the then, best where he goes, thank you for choosing Peloton meditation. I'm Ross Rayburn. Be well. That's his, that's, be that's well. his, <laughs> well, that's this his trademark one, sign off. This one was actually interesting because he didn't do oh. that. He actually just said, um, no, he actually just said, uh, you know, sleep well. His, his was sleep well. And then there was about a minute to a minute and a half that it that continued going before it actually oh, before ended. Because I was sitting oh. there thinking, how did he do this for 30 minutes? There are definitely quiet yeah. moments within it um, where there's just, you know, there's just the music. Was it audio but, um, only or was really, he on really camera? recommend this one. It. I don't remember that, John. I, I don't remember. I can have a quick look um, whether it was or not. But, Some of them, um, you know, a lot but of them yeah, are audio on yeah, I, I, especially for those ones, you're right. Um, I'll do it. Because you really don't need to be see whether it was audio. for the sleep meditations. You really don't need to see them. It was audio. Yeah. It was, it okay. was, or it was audio only, which makes sense, which makes sense. Yep. Yep. And then I'll just wrap my my little trio off with um, Tobias Hines. So um, our friend Bertha C. runs MD. Annie um, is loving the German instructors. And this week she picked um, Tobias Hines. It was his 20 minute pop run. It was in German. Um, she's gotten really good at this. Um, and she said playlist was pure pop and super upbeat and fun. You don't have to understand German to enjoy Ed Sheeran and David Guetta. And you are right. Right, Annie, you don't. So I'm glad to see Tobias in there. And um, lovely that, that Annie had shared I did that a, run. Uh, a 70s or 60s run with him just recently. And I think Bertha C. Runs MD was on there. He gave me a little shout out in the, the pre-show. And he, I guess he, he recognized the name because he was all, oh, Kenny Banya. Hello, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. It was I love that. I love that. Yeah, he's a, All right. He's a Continuing sweetheart. with bike now. Uh, Alex's 45-minute hip-hop ride from the 23rd. We received this from Kathy M19 and Kim Carb 11. They said it had a great playlist, and he had such awesome energy having members in the studio. It was one of those days where I was feeling blah, and he hyped me up. And Ash Pryor's 15-minute row, premier row 
from the 23rd. Got this from Hey, it's Eric M and HR Goddess. They said her energy, technique, smile, vibe, all amazing. And then Dennis's 30 minute rock ride from, from the 24th. We received this from Jenny Quiggs 13. She said the music was heavy and loud. All right. I um, put too many of your names in there. So I'll just grab the. the oh, these. wait, I got the next. Um, a, oh, I, um, oh, I have the. Do you want go me for to it. continue on? Want to yeah. go for it? Uh, Cody's 45 minute intervals and arms ride from the 24th. Uh, Nelly BS Pinnin, Stony Baby, Good to Be the Cook, Cuvine, Jen Castle, and Olinger Debbie. They said, I've never sweated so much or pushed so hard. Um, this one was fun. I did this one on demand the other day, like the following day. Um, and yeah, it was tough. He had some good segments in there. Uh, he doesn't do a lot of 45 minute rides. So it's nice to get 45 minutes, um, you know, with Cody when he does put them out. Yeah. Uh, but there was some fun. Um, he, he incorporated some fun chicken McNug uh, McDonald's analogies in there. So some good Cody isms um, that were great uh, that made it fly by. All right, so moving on now, uh, Adrian Williams, 30-minute premiere row from the 24th. Uh, this was submitted by Dot 22 and Nikki NC Will. They said, great to see Adrian. 30 minutes. Was that 30 minutes? I don't think that was, I don't think I was, no. No, it was okay, 15. I was just it was 15. Double take I should have corrected it. Doing a 30 minute. Yep. Yeah, it was 15. Yep. Okay. No, 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 no. It was, 15. yeah, yeah, yeah. I had fixed the others, but I didn't oh, fix okay. that one. 15 minute premiere row. Um, great to see Adrian transition from the tread to the row. Yeah, great class. Um, you know, I, I hung in there. I think I finished, you know, out of the group. I think I was in the top 30. Um, I definitely, I've definitely nice. pushed it more on Ash's class, but still, it was still a fun one. You know, great music from Adrian there. And then Callie's 20 minute arms and shoulders from the 25th, 20 minutes uh, from Jason D, Jason Denberg from the Callie's Killer Crew. And also we received this from J Camp 926. They said good, straightforward upper body movements. Awesome. All right. And then next up, um, Jeffrey McEachin's 30 minute six, the musical run in German. Um, I was in good company. That was definitely a pick for me, as well as S Pound C01, Thun uh, Thunder Holmes, and Slow Run Meg. Great energy. He played my favorite queens in chronological order, and he sang along to the best parts which with his incredible voice while still giving the perfect amount to listen uh, of time to listen to the tunes. A definite repeater. Uh, I agree. I mean, he was... I took it on, on the road because um, I, I did it down here in, in, in Florida, and um, uh, and what I did, and I, and I recommended this to somebody else, is um, which we'll talk about in a minute because I did pick it, but I did Maddie's first. So I did yeah. Maddie's walk. So I knew more about it. I have not seen the show. So I, you know, had not seen the show and it was nice because Maddie gave great explanations little, about little the different, summary. exactly. So, but the, exactly. So by the time I did Jeffrey's, you know, you really could understand what was going on. So, um, absolutely fantastic. And that was from the 20. Um, and then Andy Spear had a 30 minute upper body strength. I heard your little shout in that one, oh, um, oh, John. I think you did that. Did you, did you do that. the class or did you just see me post my shout out? No, oh, I okay. didn't do the class. I heard your shout out. <laughs> <laughs> I saw your, your Instagram yeah, He also post. gave a shout out in the 10-minute one too. So that might have been from the 10 minutes. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's, he spoils, he spoils Kenny. And <laughs> he does spoil Kenny. Um, this one was re actually recommended by Live Your Why. Um, my muscles are still burning, they said. Um, and that was also from Mine the 25th. Two. All right. Next up, Camilla's 20-minute merengue ride from the 25th. Cookie V submitted this one. They said this was so fun, fast and fun music to ride to as well. And then Kendall's 30-minute metal shadow boxing. Also from the 25th, Sarah N. and Balsero and Mia H. Hayes submitted this. They said, amazing playlist and killer workout. 
Awesome. And then I will round them off. And yep, it had to get in there. And I was not alone. There were so many submissions for Maddie's um, 30 Minutes 6 musical walk. Um, he was so excited about it as we spoke about it in the in the show um, when we when we spoke about the Broadway series being released. Um, you know, this had Maddie's name all over it. And the energy that he portrayed, the Wikipedia little bits and pieces that he shared, because for someone that hadn't seen the show, it was nice to understand some of it behind it um he you know he even got to the point where he'd said where each um, of the queens were giving their renditions and their songs um as to which suit which pop star they were representing uh, which was really fun to which was really fun to hear so that was absolutely my pick of the week um i was in good company with my good friend robin ra who is uh, magic makers um, one of magic makers admins as well as elizabeth may um nickel mm 28 eleanor Rigsby, Glazed Donut 28, and Mama Ped. And then last on the picks of the week this week was Alex Kowarski's 15-minute um, premiere row. It was from um, the 25th, 7.30 p.m. Um, uh, 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 Chili Cow MKE was who had um, suggested this one. And they said, Alex is such an amazing addition to the Peloton team. Can't wait to, um, to take more of his rows. So a really nice group of... Um, of classes yeah. this week for everybody to enjoy. All is great. All is yeah. uh, good in the Peloton world. All is good in the Peloton world. So yeah, folks, we gave you a lot this week. Um, again, shout out to Cinco for correcting us on there being 24 bikes in the studio and not 22. Um, and everybody else for submitting their picks and sharing um, what their favorites were. For and the I'll, week. Be meeting, I'll be meeting, I'll be meeting Cinco. John... He, um, he booked a couple of the classes I'm, I'm scheduled for it at Peloton London. So I, I thought I he thought he lived me. right. He's so I thought excited. he was just outside of the city, you know, in the suburbs. But he said he's almost three hours away. So it's, it's a bit of a hike. No, he's far. It's his far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they rarely do. But they come do they in take, quite often. They so they love it. Him and Sue. Or do they normally take the train i think it depends i think it depends on whether the train they but do they only drive chris okay because i wasn't sure because i think it also depends on the you know there's been so many train strikes in the uk it's been a nightmare uh, um for folks coming in so so yeah but i guess they do they do drive so oh you're gonna have oh he is a joy tony is just one of the nicest warmest most amazing i mean we've had him on the show for those of you that have gotten to um you know as our guest and maybe you'll see him coming up because we have buddy, a couple right? weeks where John and I aren't going to be around. So um, there could be a, a guest appearance from Cinco as your co-host <laughs> um, coming up in, in, in the future. So um, yeah, well, I guess John, that pretty much wraps it up. So um, from me here, thank you everybody as always for taking the time to listen and to watch. I think today's was a longer show than we've had in the past couple of weeks, but hopefully you stuck around and got to hear it all. And um, we look forward to seeing you back here next week. Bye for now, everybody. Yeah, appreciate you tuning in for another ad-free episode on Pelo Buddy TV. Um, and so for me in uh, snowy Michigan, um, thank you again. And as always, we will see you on the lead. Thank you for watching Pelo Buddy TV, your source for everything Peloton, by the community, for the community. Work out with us using the Pelo Buddy TV leaderboard tag and find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Pelo Buddy. Don't forget that we have a podcast available so that you can listen to us while on the move. Just search for Pelo Buddy TV on any major platform and hit the subscribe button so you never miss an episode.